question about integrating parametric equations. So we've got figure one here, and the curve shows uh, uh, the curve is given by parametric equations x is equal to 2 subtract t squared and y is equal to t, t plus 1. We're told t can be 0 or bigger. Find the coordinates of where the curve meets the coordinate axis. So we want the coordinates here and we want the coordinates here. Okay? And then we're asked to find the exact area of the region bounded by the curve and the coordinate axis. We want this area here. That's the coordinate axis. That's the curve, and we want the area bounded between these here. So that's our area. These are the coordinates I want. Maybe I'll call them A and B. Okay, so that's the question. Let's now give it a go. So moving over here, I said that was coordinate A and that was coordinate B, and this is the area we wanted. Okay, for part A, we want to find the coordinates of A and B. Okay, well, at A, at capital A, we know that y is equal to 0, okay? So we're going to solve t, t plus 1, which is the parametric form of y, equal to 0. And this tells us that t is either 0 or t is negative 1. Now, we were told in the question that t had to be equal to 0 or bigger, so we can ignore this one. And at this point, t is equal to 0. We can now find x. x is going to be 2 subtract 0 squared, which is 2, so A is obviously the coordinates 2, 0. Okay, and highlight that in the exam. That's the coordinates of A. Now let's get B. Um, so at B, X is 0. So we're going to solve the equation 0 is equal to 2 subtract T squared. Add T squared to both sides. Uh, so we're going to get T squared is equal to 2. And then square root, we get t is equal to root 2, or t is equal to negative root 2. Again, we can ignore this because we want t bigger than or equal to 0. Okay, so now let's find uh, the y value. y is therefore going to be root 2, and it's going to be uh, uh, multiplied by root 2 plus 1. And that there is the y coordinate. And we could multiply it out if we want. That's going to be root 2 times root 2 is 2 plus root 2. So there's the y coordinate. So the coordinates of b, b is therefore 0 and 2 plus root 2, which we should highlight. Okay, and we've done the first part. So let's just write in here that this is 2, 0, and here is 0, 2 plus root 2. Okay, and we're done for part A for four marks. Okay, let's move on to part B. I'm just going to rub this out for now. Uh, let's just remind ourselves what the T values were here, by the way. T was equal to zero here. And at this point here, we had T is equal to root two. Okay, so let's rub out this work here. Okay, now we're going to move on to part B and find the exact area of the region bounded by the curve and the coordinate axis. For B, we're going to use the formula that the area is the integral between T1 and T2 of Y given in terms of T, and then we're going to have dx by dt with respect to T. Okay, so let's think about this. Uh, what is T1? Well, T1, if we're integrating normally, we integrate between X is here and X is here. So t1 must be uh, the value of t at this point, which is root 2. t2 must be the value of t at this point, which is going to be equal to 0. So t2 is going to be equal to 0. Because x is 2 subtract t squared, dx by dt is clearly differentiating that as negative 2t. And now we're ready to substitute. So this is the integral. We must make sure we get this the right way. Between t1, which is root 2, and 0 y in terms of t, which is t, t plus 1, dx by dt, which is negative 2t, and then with respect to t. Okay, now it's time to um, multiply this out. So this would be equal to um, t squared plus t, all of that multiplied by negative 2t dt. And keeping on going with this is going to be the integral between root 2 and 0, 
negative 2t uh, cubed subtract 2t squared dt. Now we're going to integrate here, add 1 to the power and divide, it'll be a negative a half t to the 4, add 1 to the power and divide, subtract 2 thirds t cubed, all between 0 and root 2. When we put 0 in, we get 0, so this is going to be 0. Subtract the answer when we put root 2 in. Well, we're going to get negative a half, root 2 to the power of uh, 4 is actually 4. Subtract 2 thirds, root 2 to the power of 3, If you, uh, that's root 2 times root 2 times root 2, it's actually 2 root 2. Okay, so we're going to have 0, and we're going to have plus a half times 4, which is plus 2, and we're going to have plus 2 thirds times this, which is going to be plus uh, 4 thirds root 2. So the area in this case actually turns out to be 2 plus 4 thirds root 2, and they asked us for the exact area, and we have found it for the six marks. <laughs>